All right. Uh, shalom, shalom, Israel. This is your brother, Nai Yaakov. I uh, just wanted to do another video. Uh, the reason I'm having to do my videos on my phone is because, um, obviously, my audio is bad. The last video I did, I had uh, pretty bad audio. So um, I got to uh, do them on my phone. But, you know, I can't, I can't stop because I get the urge to say something uh, to address a certain matter that's on my heart. Um, uh and if I don't do it, it's going to it's going to upset me that I didn't get the thought out. So um, let's get into it. Now, there are two things I want to go over right now. What's happening uh, more so with regards to uh, more detail on on the chaos that's transpiring as well as. Um, a, a certain familiar image that um, that I'm seeing right now that's manifesting yet again, um, and then also from that situation, I'm seeing how um, uh, people are hoping for a different different result, and I just want to bring the situation to your attention so that you can look and see, hmm. That does appear to be the exact same thing, but on a grander scale, okay? And then I also want you to look and say, hmm, that does seem like that should be the rightful result of what happens when we transgress, okay? Now, transgression of the law. I'll say this, and then I'll explain it. If humanity is not in har in harmony with the universal law that governs all creation, there shall come a lack of control that manifests itself in the forces of the elements. Now, what does that mean? How do you explain that? What does that say to you? That says this. That if I lack to harmonize, the lack of control will be my reward. Okay? Harmony means control. The lack thereof means no control. Now, let's bring this to a grander scale as a result of everything. And we will see how Moses wrote the law that he wrote that was a trans uh, uh, a, a law that 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 worked against us okay I'm gonna show you exactly what he was looking at uh, uh, that 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 in that enabled him to write on the on the uh in in books uh the lesser if you will law now if man was in tune and if he was on the right task doing the exact the, the right thing that he was supposed to be doing from day one, what he would look at is he would look at nothing more than the father. OK, and from that looking, he would see nothing but love and good results, love and good results, good things happening and and and, and, and good results now. He sees these things because he's in sync, he's in line, he's in tuned in the love of the Father, okay? And so as a result, he sees nothing but good things happening from a result of good things. But then, the only one capable of doing a bad thing is man himself, okay? And this is between man and, and, and his father, the son and his father. The only one capable of doing an error is man, the image of the Most High, the, uh, the, the one who was made to be his name, as a, let, let alone say or speak his name. Man was made to be his name, in a sense, and, and, and act according to his name. And so when men see righteous men walking down the street, they wouldn't uh, 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 look at the righteous men and, and, and say uh, uh, they are simply righteous men. Of their own accord. No, people will say they are men of God. Okay? Men of God. Belonging to the Father. And they walked in His authority. They walk in His peace. They walk in harmony with Him. And so because they walk in harmony with Him. They have the right. 
if they will, if you will, uh, as masters over spirituality in the living of the spirit life. As masters of these things, they rise up according to rank uh, 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 based upon their merits, the works and the things that they do. Okay? These men or man was initially created to be in sync with the Father. And now, to not be in sync even one iota means the lack of control, just as mathematicians calculate the perfect equation and one jot or one letter or one number off of that perfect equation will turn everything to chaos that's exactly what sin does to man all sin does that to man every sin takes man out of the harmony with the father at some level towards something for some reason Okay, carnal reason, lust, pride, things of that nature. And the rightful reward for you not being in harmony with the Father is to lose control because He is the only one that can rightly control or rightly establish control and harmony. And so, in order to be in harmony with all of mankind, with all of creation, if you will, Man must harmonize himself with his father, who creation is made and catered towards him for the good of all, which he is in all things. And so to whatever measure he is in anything, there must be a good there to 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 be given unto the measure of him within that thing. And so that good that should be there should be man's good, should be man's wisdom, should be man doing a certain thing, specific thing, right? And so when he lacks harmony, control, see, the opposite of the thing that is will manifest on account of transgressing towards that thing, doing the opposite of what that thing is. So the opposite of harmony will yield the lack of control. And now man has to be manifested of his lack of control because he is not in harmony with the father. And he's been living years and years and centuries upon centuries upon end without no end. OK. Not in sync with the father in disharmony with the father. You understand what I'm saying? And so now, as a rightful reward, there must be a manifest of the lack of control so as to show men. And look, the manifest of lack of control isn't just the thing that's going to pop up. No. And, and, and you can't figure out the reason why this particular, uh, uh, this specific, if you will, type of disorder is showing. The type of raging that I see, the type of chaos that I see is stemming from a particular deed that yielded that type of uh, lack of control. And so when man sins, OK, uh, 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 what what Moses intended to do was keep man from losing all self-control or losing all sync uh, 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 in, in, in order in the father. OK. And becoming a complete uh, paradisical son who's wasteful and who has lost control of his entire environment. And so right now, man has to see that he does not control a thing. And so when man is not in line with the wisdom of the father, ignorance must be the reward because the only thing opposite of it, wisdom of a lack of wisdom is ignorance. So man must be rewarded ignorance because man is going to get something in whichever way he chooses to go. You're going to get something, family, for your work, for what you've done, even the lack thereof itself. You will receive a reward for it all. Unavoidable. And so to unsink yourself with, if you will, uh, if you want to start with the basics or, if you will, the fruits of the Holy Spirit, 
the righteousness, the shield of truth and uh, and a faith and, and and the rod of truth and shield, sword of truth and rod and, and shield of faith and 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 feet fitted and ready to go in to do good. You know what I mean? These are the very things, you know, that um uh uh when man is not in tuned and in line with, he will will each and every time he is not in line add up on the reward of what of the opposite of what that attribute is you understand what i'm saying and so when man hates he must he, he he's out of line with love and out of tune with love and so fire must be his reward you understand what i'm saying or hatred or anger chaos things of that nature anything that's opposed Opposite to love, man must receive that because these are the things he's telling the father he wants. These are the things he's uh, uh, programming. And to tell the father you want something is to program yourself the way that 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 that, that tells him to program yourself or cause yourself to be in the state of mind or the state of being that tells him what you want truly from him. You understand? And so when you aim for purity, you tell him that you want more uh, 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 health from him, more strength from him, things of that nature. When you act in love, you tell him that uh, that you that you want more love from him. OK. And e even these things are telling telling him that these this is how you want to be aligned. This is how you want to tune yourself. And a lot of us are neglecting, if you will. The attributes of the Most High. And as a result, the lack of control is what's going to have to happen to man because judgment is now. And granted, the lack of, the, of control is only at an increase and not a full-blown manifestation, right? And like burp pains, it is only increasing, giving man time to think before he acts, before he does, before he begins to say and takes another step further into the abyss. That's what's happening right now, family. Every man is being manifested of his own accord. Every man is being manifested in unison. Every man is being manifested all around his being. That he has lost control of nature. Now we are at the point where there is no turning around. Nature, the control you had or we used to have of it is no longer. We no longer have control of nature. But there will come the elect and sons of God who have tuned themselves with all of nature and have recognized the powers of the wind, the fire, the earth, the air. They've recognized the powers of these, these things, these angels, if you will. They've recognized the power of the sun, the moon, the stars. You understand what I'm saying? And they commune with these powers. They share, if you will, time with these powers so that they can gather the understanding and learn more about their father because these things are meant and put there to teach man of who their father is and because of their construct and their makeup and their functions and their and their blessings and even their curses they tell you of the nature of the father himself and so when you look at the seasons when you look at the winds the rains the fires the waters, what are they telling you? What are they telling you the state of us, of we are towards the Father? What are they telling you our connection to him is right now? But chaos, but disorder, but the lack of control, family. And now, to go to another topic. Now that you've all thought about that and the lack of control. I want to shine light on something that you all should pay attention to. I just want you to pay attention to it. However you feel about it makes no never mind to me. But there was a time when we were on the plantation. When we were captured from our original homes. And this is this is per se speaking of a of a of a of a of a, 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 a black situation here. OK. Of the uh, things that we've gone through 
And now waking up to the fact that we have been the people that the Father has dealt with in a spiritual way, right? I remember my ancestors recalling a situation whereby the black man, okay, had to suffer so much and how the white man took his wife and these are historic facts, no matter how you want to say it. How the white man took his wife into his big old house while leaving us uh, on the plantation, right, to pick cotton and all of these other things like that. And then she became some type of a special thing to him because he did what he did with her and we all know what I'm talking about. But she became some type of special thing to him that 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 he would do anything else to any other black man or black woman or, or anyone else on the plantation. Right. Who did not follow suit with his uh, 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 one the one he kept in the house all the time. The house Negro, if you will. Who he kept her in the house all the time. Right. And she earned favor in his eyesight. And they worked side by side in the big house. And I say in the big house so that you all understand the White House is what I'm referring to. And the thing is, back then it was on a smaller scale. But then to those who were back then, that was a bigger scale. That was a big scale upon which these things were. But this is the, 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 the black woman and the white man in the White House. Or in the big house, yet again, though some of the things, the horrifying things that went on while she was in there may or may not happen. Don't know, don't care. But I want you to all see and understand that we are now where we where that image, when we used to look at that image, that image used to disgust us as a people, right? And we saw that that image didn't work for us as a people. Okay? To hope in, in, in the slave owner while, uh, while he yet had um, a, 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 a woman, if you will, by his side. A black woman, if you will. The white slave owner with the black woman who, uh, who he cheated on oh, even with his uh, wife. A white wife that he used to have and things like that and she used to dwell in the house and you know um, uh, some didn't even have wives but they liked the, uh, a few of them uh, uh, house negroes women if you will in their company things of that nature around them while black men had to uh, look and see their woman degraded and look at their woman and, and all these other things like that and a lot of y'all don't understand that the mindset of that slave woman. Now we're going to step into each perspective. The mindset of that slave woman. She had no choice. Come on. She had no choice. To uh, 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 be that way. For her own safety. For her own uh, 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 peace and rest from the hardship that 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 uh, heavy handed uh, 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 slave owner would do to her. And she had no choice to do it. And then the black man had no choice but to see it. And then not only did she have no choice, but the fact is she even got uh, 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 brainwashed into the mindset of accepting it and 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 and, and uh, uh, compromising with that understanding. And so she would even uh, uh, give in her own black men, if you will, if she had to, just to maintain her position. Because she began to say, look, this is my piece. I'm going to stick with it. This is my piece. I'm going to stay there and I will not be moved from it. And so when it comes down to it, how is that image and that woman? Stuck in that mindset. Different from this image. Is there because there is no whip? Is there because he is not uh, uh, fondling her and raping her? Is, uh, are these the things that 
because he's not doing uh, uh, these, is this what makes you feel like the outcome is going to uh, be the exact same or, or, or the outcome is going to be a different or better thing? Is this what it takes or is this what it is? I mean, and even with a, a, a black woman vice president uh, or whatever have you, just consider how the pride of uh, uh, within every woman is already starting to rise. And, 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 and especially those who have accompanied or gone to the same schools that she has, right? And so pride is already rising up in, in the, in the uh, uh, black woman. And even when Obama came, pride rose up in the black man. But all of you all are not realizing that what did come as a result of a black man being in office, right? How long could he stay there to affect any type of real good and real change? And so y'all think that this, uh, this uh, uh, time around, that good change is going to be affected, right? But I guarantee you, whatever change that appears to be good will only be temporary. This is the, the, the genie or the leprechaun who, well, when you make a promise or, or when you make a wish to them for something, that wish comes with a, a, a backhand to it, a backstory to it, a backdrop, something that is bad. It doesn't just come all good. And so I guarantee you this appearance of that white man and a black woman in the big house right now on a different scale and on a different level and, and over the whole entire nation, just as it did not come with a good result then, I promise you it will not come with a good result now, even though the appearance may show itself to be a good thing for some time. Whatever it comes to, whatever it comes down to, that change, that effect is only temporal or that change in effect is not without a bad fine print. You understand what I'm saying? To tell you what it truly means for your safety, what it truly means for your freedom, what it truly means for you in this society, in this carnal world right now as it is. Y'all rejoicing, y'all crying, y'all feeling all type of ways about the results of, of something that's what happening. And all you false lies who falsely prophesied about Trump, you all are wrong. You understand? We are in a society where everybody's wrong and nobody's right right now. That's what we're living in right now. Everyone is wrong and nobody is right. And there are only the elect few that are out there that stand as right while everybody else is wrong. And y'all can't take that, right? Y'all can only take that when you put one person or two people or three people in, 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 in leadership, right? And you only you only accept what they say, right? Because all y'all out there, y'all think y'all have some essence of right within you. But we're all, when we all learn to accept that we've been wicked, that we've walked contrary to his ways, and we acknowledge our offenses as, as, as it is written for us to do. Only then will he turn around. But there can be no turning around where there is no national acknowledgement of your offense towards the Most High. In every single facet, whether it be homosexuality, uh, sexuality, whether it be abortion, whether it be um, uh, 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 all types of evils that are out there, you know, uh, and, and how they've done with the with the church. Uh, and, and turned it into an evil entity and all of the evils that are going on and killing and murders that are happening and all of the lies and, 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 and adultery and pride that's happening in the world right now today. All of y'all are going to have to admit that. That's the only way to begin syncing up yourself with the Most High is to first admit that you're out of sync. And that's what we're going to have to admit that whatever good that we appear to do carnally is out of sync with the good that we need to be doing spiritually, family. And this is how the two tie up hand in hand, okay? Where you all realize don't have faith in the image of what they're telling you your salvation is in your face right now. Because this is really those who say Christ is over here or Christ is over there. We, don't, we need to put this in layman terms. This is your salvation over here. 
This is your salvation over there. That's what people are actually telling you. When, when, in, 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 a, in, a, in a back way of saying Christ is over here. So Obama or Biden uh, uh, and, and, and Harris, these two are right now saying we have the key to your salvation. And you all are looking and with hopeful crying and with tears saying, yes, that is my salvation. I voted that salvation in. That is my peace right there. You're looking everywhere but to your father in enough to say that that is my peace. The father is my peace and the father stands as my peace alone. But no, you look to carnal men when he said not even when he desired this not to be the case from the get go. And you all are out there making it the case. Family. I see the same pitiful image. As it was during the really lynch times. And how they played the black woman against the man. And took the strong black man and indoctrinated him if they could. Or if not just indoctrinated him, if they had to kill him, they would kill him and, 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 and deal with him. But they got all the ones that they can't control in prisons right now. And in jails right now. Those are the ones that they can't control, right? Those who, if they were given the right life, a right chance, would follow the Father willingly. Had they, had they been started off the right way. But no, they were born in sin and, sin and shaped in iniquity. All because of the societies that you all have. And all of the, 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 the constant rituals that you all do every single year. Calling it Christmas and things of that nature. And Halloween and all of these things. In, 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 the, in the ritual of success that you all have. Okay. Whereby with this ritual you would gain monetary gain. And then, all, and then splurge around like some wild monkey. Saying, look at me, I'm prancing with all of my decadence on. Look at me, what I have and what you don't have. Ha ha, that's good for you. I'm not going to give you what I have. This is the society we live in right now. And so we call the American dream the thing that we ought to be gone. When the spiritual dream, family, is the very dream we all should be aiming for. Not the American dream, not the Indian dream, not the not the uh, the uh, the Israelite or, or uh, Israeli dream, or not the any type of worldly dream out there, if you will. We're not meant to aim for these things, but aim for the Father and the Most High alone. This is the one we serve. This is the one who we give all our all to. And we don't lack at that at this very thing. And so we're not. We're not beguiled or, or confused or tripped up, family, by the images that are coming. There are many great images that are coming in man's presence right now. And from these images of leadership, of, of salvation, men will put their all into that image, right? And men are going to start accepting, oh, this is my time to rise up. And, I, and I've said this before. This is my time to rise up. This is my time to do, if you will, the right thing. This is my cause right here. I choose this as my cause. I choose democracy. I choose Republican. I choose uh, uh, Marxism or whatever you all got out there that you're choosing to be the governing faction or factor over you. Rather than the will of the Most High. This image, it may be decked with sheep's garments before you. This whole situation may be decked in a sheep's garment before you. But I promise you, it is a raging wolf. And I guarantee you, whew, that wolf, that wolf ain't going to play. It's out for blood. You feel me? And it will make sure that it gets blood. Because this is truly a wolf. Dressed in sheep's garment before you. Hmm. And the face of the black woman is on it. I know that's going to bother some people to hear. I know it. But it is what it is. 
If only you had the eyes to open up in, within your spirit enough to see that we are at an end. There is no more hope for carnal life. No more. There is no more hope. The seal. A seal is something that once it is set, you cannot go back. You must complete the seal. The seal must be done. It must be fulfilled. It must be accomplished. And so we have passed the threshold of a seal at this point. Where we cannot turn back. You understand? The moment the first seal was opened, there was no turning back. So, family, peace, peace. Y'all might claim it. Y'all might call it. Safety, safety. Y'all might claim it. Y'all might call it. But I guarantee you, sudden destruction shall fall upon you. And when it does, come holler at me. I have more to tell you. I have, mo I have more to tell you. This ain't the end. It's, it's only a beginning, really. But please and blessings.